before we had the smell, we used to have barbecues in the garden. We used to have children on the trampoline. We'd have summer parties, we'd have birthdays. It was the same for us really. We used to have garden parties and even just having the windows open, you know, in the summer, having them all open, letting the fresh air go through. But once the landfill site was up and running properly, you couldn't do that. You couldn't have the windows open. I am an asthmatic and I like to have fresh air in my house. Um, and because of the smell, you just, you can't bear it. Sometimes in the middle of the night, I again had tight chestedness and I'm not able to breathe properly. And it, it made it a little bit difficult for me. For me, one of the worst problems was the night time when the smell used to come when we were asleep. We used to have to go around the house and close the windows at three o'clock in the morning. When my family came to visit, because this sort of all over the country, they were saying, what on earth, That's what is the smell? It used to make me feel quite sick. And I remember at one point, my little girl, we were going outside and she said, mummy, what's that horrible smell? It's making me feel sick. So not only was it impacting on us, it was also affecting my little girl as well. The impact on family life is different to each individual. Ours became, rather than family gatherings, you just didn't do it. People lost touch with each other, became insular. You no longer had street parties or street barbecues. Everybody, everybody lived their own lives separate. It's a shame, but I suppose it destroyed the community in a way. Where the landfill site is, it is actually a very large company that owns it that have obviously got numerous solicitors and, you know, taking that sort of challenge on yourself. You don't think that you're going to win. You don't think that you're going to be successful. And actually, you don't think that there's anything that you can do about it. I thought the council, local or the environmental agency, I thought somebody would eventually do something to help us. Um, and, and then I received a postcard through the door from Hugh James informing me that they were having a meeting where we could go and discuss our issues and see whether or not it was something that they could do to help us. There was a gathering of the local community and Hugh James came along and explained the situation, what could, what might, what they could do, and hopefully what the outcome would be. They gave no guarantees, but they were prepared to come along and listen to the local people. They'd obviously done these sort of challenges before and were very successful, so it just seemed the right thing to do. They were knowledgeable and they were interested and they were prepared to listen to people's complaints where other people used to write you off saying there's nothing can be done. They put our mind at ease every step of the way um, and it was a, a very, very rewarding experience in the end. And they were just so easy to talk to and you just felt that there was somebody there that understood the issues that had been going on and they knew how to try and help to resolve it for us. At the initial set, did we think we'd win? No, nobody thought you'd win against a company that size. I mean, it is a multinational company and they were denying there was any old. It was like taking on a giant. It's, we didn't know, nobody knew, but thanks to Hugh James's help, they explained that we could take them on and we did take them on and we did win, thanks to Hugh James. A little girl can go out and play all day and you can have the windows open and your standard of life is a lot better. Our quality of life has just become so much better again now that the problems have been resolved.